Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to eliminate number one. Yeah, this is the continue of my part one, developing the template. Yeah, how to delete this number one while you want to maintain this number two. All right. Um, I found a, a lot number of method, but I I think this is the best uh, method. Yeah. So what you need to do because we want to delete uh, this number right after this we have to stop this number two from relying or depending on this number one so how to do it yeah uh, double click on this number two raman yeah uh, once you double click this number you will see uh, this uh, the appearance of this and link to previous is active this to show that uh, uh, at this position at this position uh, this number is linked to number one uh, on the page before how to do it you have to click you have to click on this one click so once you click it's no longer active yeah just now it is active no it is not active so only when you click uh, uh, when only when you bring your mouse like this so uh, it shows that you want to click but if you remove your mouse it is uh, not active I show you again yeah this is number two this is number one so you double click yeah it is active yeah it is active so uh, click it is now inactive meaning that this number two is not related to number one then you can delete this number select and hit delete yeah so now you see the number two is maintained this is the best because you can change any number on this page yeah? sometimes your document need to have this as a page number one while the page before is without number view i will show you how to create a style yeah? now the style for the item on the cover page now what is the best uh, for a thesis template yeah I, uh, I want to open my style pin here okay what is the best for this template is that for one cover page like this you have a minimum number of style okay so I think I want to have this uh, bold and center I select this one make it bold make it center and maybe I want to increase the font size this is times Roman 11 I want to go to 14 yeah all right uh, I want to create this as a style i click this one new style i give name of the style cover okay right so i want to copy this to this item yeah so cover this one is cover this one oh sorry this one is cover one this one is cover one uh, this is my suggestion yeah and for this I think you can use uh, cover one as well uh, yeah so all of these uh, item on the cover page are using cover one style yeah so this is going to make your student easy to format your cover page because all of the item uh, are using only one style okay now this is your session break so because of the session break move here uh, you can see that the the the, the blank page is uh, uh, is appear on uh, between uh, cover and abstract so how to uh, move this section break to the cover page you put your cursor here put your cursor here and you hit backspace yeah so this is one section this is another section so next i want to create a style for the item on the extract text yeah so what i want to have yeah i want to have this as a uh, justified i think uh, i'm okay with this uh, setting the line spacing is uh one and uh sorry maybe one is better yeah, the line spacing is one. Yeah, uh, the font size is times Roman and eleven. So now I create style for this. 
uh, the style for this is abstract yeah this is abstract tag when your student want to copy and paste they must use this abstract tag style yeah so the knowledge man the knowledge man i suggest uh, a simulation like this yeah maybe you have uh yeah maybe you have few words like this or maybe you have a uh, few word like this it's, it's, it's up to the student so are you happy with this if you are not happy maybe we can change uh, go to home maybe the paragraph uh, you need um, first line indentation and maybe you want to have it uh, on a half line and you want to have a spacing uh, after 10 point this is just a suggestion yeah so maybe you can select this and then okay you want to follow this right? so i want to um create a style for this okay go to new style and i say yeah this is the name of the style All right so now i can use this for the rest of my paragraph okay so um declaration yeah so you can copy uh, an item for declaration so it's, it's up to you how to go about it so maybe you want to have the same as uh, this one it's up to you but i suggest for the declaration you have your own style yeah this is the style for this uh, maybe it is justified and i want to have a uh, first line um indentation and i want to make it uh, double yeah and maybe i want to have it zero yeah this is just only a suggestion yeah this is my uh, suggestion so this is the style that you need and uh, create the style for this this is declaration all right so you want to copy so you want to copy yeah for the table of content uh you hit here uh maybe you need to have a word page yeah page yeah so maybe you want to make it bold maybe i just give a suggestion bold and maybe you want to have it uh align right yeah so you want to create a style for this okay i give name is a page yeah yeah page only okay so now this is the item uh, I, I just uh, want to leave it like this for the time being uh, later I will come uh, to this uh, item again um, this is list of table maybe you want to have set for this table I want to have three yeah um, yeah right you want to have it three and then yeah all right so this one is page so uh, i want to use this and this one is a uh, table yeah so i want to use this so now here is uh, another method of how to create the style you know that you want to use this style but you want to change from uh, right to left yeah so now what i suggest you is to click here and then you type uh, create a new style page two yeah page two then um, yeah page two you click this one yeah now you click OK now what you see is uh, something like this yeah so now I want to make it uh, uh, bigger for this yeah to make it bigger and uh, maybe I want to make something like this and here is I want to say item item yeah so for the item I want to use this one as well so so I want to remove border yeah so in the future we are going to generate our list of table on uh, this position okay I want to copy this and I want to put it here as well yeah 
so this one I won't say this one is a figure okay, yeah All right go to view uh, go to navigation pane so you see now we stop at at least of figures at preface here yeah. right so now we go to introduction how to set this heading yeah? uh, you go to home tab you go to multi-level list multi-level list you go to default so because uh, we are using this already go to define new multi-level list you click on more click on more you remove this one yeah? zero zero and tap character you say stop at 0 0.1 okay 0 0.1 then you can hit shift plus enter yeah then you can adjust your paragraph here on the tab you can say this one is 0 0.1 as well see so now you can set this item center modify modify you want to say you want to make it center and change the color to automatic and you can adjust the uh, font here is a uh, times new roman yeah 16 bold maybe you want it bold so it's going to be uh, like this so you don't need this if you want to have uh, some amount of space between this and this so you can adjust this item again modify you say you want to have format uh, paragraph you want to have spacing spacing before is zero and spacing after maybe you can type two line yeah two two line yeah you type two line here yeah. okay okay so now uh, i say okay so can you see it, you get some amount if you are not happy with this you can ask the student or you can do as well shift plus enter so this to show that you already use a shift plus enter yeah this is shift plus enter this is your shift plus enter uh, this is your cursor yeah all right okay if you want to have some amount of space you say modify format paragraph you increase the line to make it maybe four so this one is okay so so you get better spacing i think all right so for this one is the same you go to modify you change the uh, font maybe you want to make it bold and don't choose this one I choose uh, times new roman times new roman here and yeah maybe you want to make it one and half click ok so is it okay for you if it is not okay you want to have some amount of space after you go to modify format uh, paragraph you say the after is a uh, to line if you want it and before you make it zero I suggest you put uh, any spacing before is zero and hanging make it 0.5 yeah hanging 0.5 this one is two line line spacing is one and a half this is spacing after this is spacing between line so now I click OK I click OK now I get some amount of space like this okay so now what happened is that uh, all of the item who is uh, using and this heading to uh, getting the same setting these are the best part of creating the style yeah you want to choose this one you are getting 2.2 and the same setting this one is the same setting so you don't have to worry about um, this yeah look yeah this one is like this all right so now you see uh, you you need to amend the heading to so that it is justified yeah don't use this go to here go to modify justify click okay now you get something like this 
uh, I'm done with heading one uh, and heading two. I want to create a, a style for the paragraph. Uh, are you happy with this? If you are not happy, you can change uh, to the first line indentation uh, 0 0.5. Yeah, you want to make it uh, one and half line. You want to say zero. You want to say maybe two line or one line. You know, one line or two line. Right. So you will get something like this. Oops. Um, I think I need to make it justified. Yeah. I think I want to make it uh, justified. Yeah. I'm quite happy with this. Then I create the style for this. I give name of the style para one. Paragraph one. I continue uh, using this style. Okay. Para one on this side. On this location. Yeah. Are you happy with this? If you are not happy with this, uh, we can create new style for the first paragraph, which means the first paragraph is going to get different settings. So how to do it? Start from para one. Yeah. I say para para zero maybe para zero, the number before one. Yeah. Now format uh, paragraph. Uh, you want to say this one is none, yeah. When it is none, it's going to be like this. Can you see it? Okay, now this is uh, paragraph uh, one, this is paragraph zero. So now I want to edit this, okay. This para one, I want to say this is paragraph para two. So on, I want to say modify para one yeah we can later edit the the name of the style what is the best uh, about this is that um, say for example this variable selection is going to take um, heading two and this is going to be your para one this is going to be your para two if you want to check whether you are using uh, which style you can choose this one okay you say uh, you say after the modifier you say the word select all you click the select all so now Microsoft Word will select area of which you use para one. Can you see it? So I'm using it uh, twice at this document. So you should go again on the para one. You see, select all two instances. Yeah. So if you want to check how many times I'm using heading two, I can click here. It is all uh, 11 instances. Yeah, 11. Let me check. It is 3, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's, it's correct. So how about chapter 1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So heading 1, I'm using 6 times already. Yeah, look. So it is 6. So this number is very helpful. Yeah, while you do, while you are creating your uh, template. This is the video. Continue from my part one. I'm using template basics uh, six two. In this template, I show you how to create uh, the style for the cover. For the cover, yeah, style for the cover is uh, cover one, and I show you how to create the style for the abstract, uh, the style for the acknowledgement. Uh, the style for the declaration, uh, the style for the page, yeah, the style for this item, yeah, and the setting for chapter one heading one, the setting for one point one heading two, the setting for the first paragraph, the setting for the second paragraph, right? So I will continue uh, creating the template and show you how to create style on the DOTX file on uh, my uh, part 3 of the video. Uh, thank you very much.